Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the titles that I watched during the month of April. I was able to watch at least one movie a day during the month, some more than others. Um, I am going to be using my Letterbox account if you'd like to follow along with me on what I watched. Um, April was a big month. We had a lot of days in the month of April. So the first day of the month I watched April Fool's Day. This right here was a first time watch. I enjoyed it. It wasn't the best um, slasher film. It wasn't terrible. But it was really pretty mediocre to me. But I am glad that I finally took time to watch it. On the second day of April, I watched Chicago. I had never seen Chicago before. I had just gotten the still book not long ago. So I decided to watch it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good um, musical. I'm not a big fan of musicals. But when they're done right, it isn't so bad. So I enjoyed that. Okay, on the third day, I watched The Fan. I watched it on streaming because I don't believe I had that one in the collection. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good um, thriller-type movie. Um, Robert De Niro did a really good job, so I'm glad, I, I'm glad I was able to take the time to watch that. On the fourth, I watched Stage Fright. I had just um, gotten this from um, the Warner Archive collection and hadn't seen it. I really enjoyed this older film. Um, it's an Alfred Hitchcock film. That's the reason why I watched it. I think I was doing an Alfred Hitchcock. I think I was doing an Alfred Hitchcock theme at the beginning of the month, or maybe at the end of the month of March. But anyways, I watched this. Really enjoyed it. And then the next day, I watched Dial in for Murder, which was another first time watch. Really enjoyed this one. This right here is probably one of my favorites of the Alfred Hitchcock films that I watched recently. So very happy that I was able to take time to watch that. And then I. Um, watched Near Dark. I had never seen Near Dark before, um, but I did get a bootleg copy of Near Dark from Sloppy Second Sales. So I took time to watch it. Very happy that I had the opportunity to watch this. I never did get this one. I never had had this one in the collection, and the Blu ray release is long out of print, way expensive. So this was an affordable way for me to, uh, to watch that. Really good film. I really enjoyed it. Okay, um, the next day my wife and I went to the theater on the 6th and we watched John Wick Chapter 4. We, we enjoyed the John Wick films. We've seen them all. Um, we were happy to be able to see this one in the theater. It was a bit long, but it was very action-packed as always, and we really enjoyed it. So I'm very happy that I was able to see that one in the theater. Okay, on the 7th, I watched Cool Hand Luke. I had never seen this one before. We got this new 4K release, so I took time to watch it, really enjoyed it. Very happy that I had that one in the collection. And then on the 8th, I watched The Maltese Falcon. I had never seen this one before. The 4K release came out with a still book. So I took time to watch that one. It was really good. I enjoyed that film with Humphrey Bogart. And then on the 9th, which was Easter, um, I watched The Passion of the Christ. Um, I hadn't seen this one since the Blu-ray was released. And um, I just wanted to take time to watch it. I really enjoyed it. It's very well done. I think Mel Gibson did a great job with that film. And so I'm very happy that I was able to watch that one on Easter. Okay, on the 10th, I watched this film called Amnesia. Um, it was an okay film. I, it, it was okay. It was kind of mediocre. It is a foreign language film, so I had to watch the sub, read the subtitles while trying to watch it. My eyesight's really bad. It's really hard for me to read subtitles and focus on the film, but I did, and... Um, I th it, was, it was worth the watch. I'm, I'm happy that I took time to watch that. On the 11th, I watched Hero. I had never seen Hero before. Great um, film. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the action scenes. Really good story. Another one that I had to read subtitles on. Okay, on the next day, on the 12th, I watched um, Collateral Beauty. I had never seen this one before. And Mike, Mega Mike, had recommended that I check this one out. So I finally took time to watch it. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good performance. I know that it didn't do very well, but I enjoyed the story. I thought it was very well done. On the 13th, um, on the 13th, I did not watch a film. So I, I forgot that I had missed one day. Typically, I watch one film every single day unless I'm sick. And on the 13th, when I got home from work, I got really sick. 
had a headache and went to bed like at 5.30 p.m. Um, because of being dizzy and sick. So I did not watch anything on the 13th. Okay, on the 14th, I watched Cocaine Bear. I really love this film. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, to me, I thought it was more funny than scary. Um, I thought the performances were really good. I enjoyed it. I had a fun time watching that one. So very happy to have Cocaine Bear in the collection. On the 15th, I watched Knock at the Cabin. Um, I, was not, I was unable to see that one in the theater when it came out. And I believe it started streaming on Peacock. So I took time and watched um, Knock at the Cabin. It was okay. Um, it's pretty much a one-time watch. Once you've watched it and understand what's happened, it's pretty much not worth a second watch. And this is just years down the road, I guess. On the 16th, I watched Rebel Without a Cause. It got a 4K release. I had never seen this one before. So I took time to watch it. I really enjoyed that one. On the 17th, I watched Piggy. Um, I've been meaning to see this one for a very long time. Um, I finally took time to watch it. It wasn't that great of a film. Um, I don't know. It just it was another one that I had to read subtitles on. And I don't know. The story was just okay. Okay, on the 18th, I watched Flashdance. I got the 4K release for Flashdance. I had never seen Flashdance before. So very happy that I was finally able to see this one. I really enjoyed it. Pretty good story. Um, really good 4K release. On the 19th, I watched Suspicion. I had never seen Suspicion before. This right here is another Warner Archive collection. Another Alfred Hitchcock film that I wanted to see. Really good story. I really enjoyed this one. Another one of my favorites. On the 20th, I watched Nomadland. This had been sitting in the watch pile for a very long, very, very long time. Never saw it. Finally watched it. I enjoyed it. It's another one that I think is probably just a one-time watch for me, but I'm glad I finally took time to watch it. On the 21st, I watched The Haunted Asylum. Um, I had never seen this one before. This has been in the watch pile. And really good, creepy story. This one, I believe, had subtitles also, but it wasn't terrible. I could really get into it. This right here was a pretty good, scary, found footage type film. I am highly recommend you check it out if you like that, that kind of thing. On the 22nd, I watched The Third Man. This is another one that had been in the watch pile for a while. I watched it. It was... I don't know. It probably needs another rewatch. I didn't find it very interesting. Only gave it two stars on Letterboxd. It was kind of boring to me, but it may just need another watch. On the 23rd, I watched King Richard. I had never seen this one before. I finally took time to watch it. Really enjoyed it. I think um, Will, Smith, um, Will Smith did a good job in the role. Um, and I do like a biopic type film, so I thought that was pretty good. On the 24th, I watched The Sisters Brothers. This right here is a really good um, contemporary western type film. Um, pretty good story. Interesting. I enjoyed it. I do like a good western, and I think that there's a pretty good modern day western. On the 25th, I watched Dream with the Fishes. This right here was another recommendation. I purchased this based off of someone's recommendations. Really enjoyed it. It's got David Arquette in it. Really good story. Um, I highly recommend you check this one out. On the 26th, I watched The Inhabitant. This right here is a, it's a horror film about Lizzie Borden. And it was kind of boring. Didn't really enjoy it. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. But I finally took time to watch that. On the 27th, I watched Joan Crawford in Flamingo Road. Really enjoyed this one. Another old Hollywood film. Another great Joan Crawford performance. Highly recommend you check this one out. Um, I really enjoyed that one. On the 28th, I watched A Man Called Otto. Um, I had never seen this one before. I wanted to see this one in the theater. Never got around to doing it. So I finally opened up the Blu-ray and watched it. Enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story. Um, 
had some really good parts to it so enjoyed that one on the 29th I took time and went out to the theater by myself I saw Bo is Afraid the latest Ari Aster film and it was three hours long and I really didn't like it um, it was kind of weird weirder than usual but it might need a second watch maybe when it comes out on physical media I may check it out again but Bo is Afraid and then on the 29th I also watched the Super Mario Brothers movie um, after seeing Bo is Afraid I wanted to see something more um, uplifting more energetic nostalgic so I really enjoyed um, the Super Mario Brothers movie I thought it could have been a little bit better it wasn't terrible um, I enjoyed playing the games back um, when I was a 20 year old um, back in my 20s I used to play it a lot so it brought back a lot of good nostalgic memories for me and then on the last day of the month I watched Nightcrawler um, I hadn't actually seen this one since I saw it in the theater when it was released so it's really nice to revisit this one really a really great Jake um, Gyllenhaal film and so it was nice to revisit that. So those are all the films that I watched during the month of April. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched. And also please give me some recommendations of some films that you think I should watch during the month of May. Because I really do enjoy your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media, accounts. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.